Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we'll be talking about stochastic. Stochastics shows the location of the current close relative to the high and low range over a period of time. We explain these terms uh, later on, this sentence later on, all right? Closing levels that are consistently near the tops of the range, which is here, indicates accumulation, buying pressures, and those near the bottoms of the range indicates distribution, which is the selling pressures. Let's look at stochastic and what items that we have here. Okay, we'll explain it one by one. Percentage K, which is the K period, okay, it compares the closing price with the periods of high and low range over the period of how many days that we want to put in. Let's say if we put in 14 days, it will measure up to the high and low and the closing price. Okay, let's say the low is here, 14 days, assuming that 14 days, okay, high, low, and closing price is here. Okay, then you measure all these three and put into uh, taking into consideration in the percentage K. While percentage D, you can see over here, there's two of them. Percentage D, it's a simple moving average of percentage K. Okay, by default, it will be 3. And a smooth percentage D, which is a simple moving average of percentage D. Okay, you simplify a simple moving average of a K and simple moving average of a percentage D. You smooth it out. Okay, that's where we come with this blue line and the red line. So we we'll talk about how to use stochastics. There are a few ways we're going to talk uh, about it one by one. The first one will be stochastics crossover, where it will trigger a buy or sell signal for you. The other one will be stochastics overbought and oversold. Let me write it down, crossover. And the second one will be overbought. We call it OB and oversold, OS. Okay, simple, oversold. And number three, go for stochastics divergence. Alright, we'll talk about the first one, which is a crossover first. Let's erase all of this. By default, the stochastics, when you choose it, when you have selected it, it will give you a 14 days and a 3 and 3 days as a default. If you want it to be a very sensitive indicator, then you can change the 14 days to a 5 days. That is what we will be using most of the time. The first characteristic that we'll be looking on is stochastic crossover. Okay? which crossover that we are looking at, what kind of crossover. This will be a very important one for you to take note, okay? A green, a blue line crossing a red line, which is the percentage D crossing the smooth percentage D. When they cut each other and cross over, that is what we call a stochastic bullish crossover. Okay, stochastic. Bullish crossover. Now we are going to talk about stochastic second usage, which is on overbought and oversold. When the blue line and the red line is in a, at or above eighty percent, that's overbought area, and when it's below, that's oversold area. So when the line is in the overbought area, does it mean that we can start selling off? No, the answer is no. Because when we are in an uptrend stocks, the stocks and the indicator will tend to be in the overbought area. For example, if we cut it into here, is this an over, I mean, is this an uptrend stocks? Yes, so that is why it stays when the trend, the momentum of these stocks is strong, 
it will come back again to the overbought area until the trend has changed. All right. Combining the first usage and the second usage that we have and a trend that we explained in the first episode when it's in overbought area and when it's uh, on an uptrend you found the dip and also a crossover which is here let me erase so that you can see clearly put it a line okay the crossover happened the next day when you found the dip that's your entry signal here would be another entry signal and then when they cross over and they cross over okay, here when it drops remember this is a overbought area and it cross over it could be a bearish signal okay so do take note on your allocations of the size that you bought in when it's at oversold area, hey, now is this price cheap for us to go in again? Is this still an uptrend? It really depends on your judgment. If it's crossover, hey, there is another opportunity. Here. When you buy and you buy and you buy, Remember, the uptrend will not always be there, just like how you breathe. You breathe in, you breathe out. There's always in and out, up and down in the stock market. Now, we'll talk about the second usage of stochastics, which is on overbought and oversold. How do we identify this overbought and oversold area? That is when the line, the blue and the red, is in 80% zone and also 20% zone. Next, we're going to talk about bullish divergence and bearish divergence, which is the third usage of stochastic. But first, before we enter and discuss about this strategy, I need you to change some of the setting. Change the K period to 5, 5 days, because we want it to be more sensitive to look for this divergence in the indicator itself. Okay, change it and you see that, wow, it's more complicated and more messy right now <laughs> because there's more data, it's more sensitive and that is what we get in the indicator. Okay, use the pen tools, look for your bullish, we we'll look for a bullish divergence first, then we we'll look for a bearish divergence. Bullish divergence is when the stock price go lower. Okay, for example here, for example here, for example here, and here. Then we look into the indicator and see whether we can see uh, an uptrend in the indicator itself where it's going higher and higher. Okay, from here, you can see any changes like well, the indicator, the line is crossing and making a higher low and higher high. Here, there is a little bit here and there, but it was not a really strong uh, divergence in this case. What about this? Price reduce, and here it gives you a higher high and higher low in the blue line and the red line. That is the divergence that we are looking for. Okay, here is another one. Okay, it dropped two times, it went up, divergence, divergence. Okay, this is a bullish divergence. When the time is right, it will come, the time will come for the price to go higher and higher. Okay, so now you know how to spot a divergence for an up in an uptrend stocks and how we get our entry signal, a buying signal from there. What about bearish divergence? Let's erase all of this. Bearish divergence is when we, uh, when the price go up, 
and then there's a lower high and lower low in the indicator okay here when the price go up then we look for the other way around in the indicator let's zoom in over this period of time pen tool when you go up do you see that this is what we call divergence it diverge so when it diverge we'll be looking at a bearish signal where we want to you know there might if there is a change of trend or if there is a sell-off this is how we can spot them before it happens for example let's say if it drops really really bad after that bearish divergence here it goes up and the price go down you see the price did drops a little but not much and uh, but since this is an uptrend always remember trend is your friend you go with your trend if it's higher 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 low what are the chances of it to change trend uh, to a downtrend or a sideway trend it will be like almost like one third and one third because there are only three of them so if it's an uptrend you still have a chance to stay in that uptrend another thing that i would like to highlight which is the oversold area oversold area will provide us a greater opportunity to buy in the stock counter itself we have been looking at this period of time for quite some time so let's move and search for another uptrend and try to look for opportunity in the oversold area okay here there's another opportunity here okay first of all identify the trend has changed to a downtrend uh, it drops tremendously previously so when you come back again wait for the wait for your opportunity okay wait for the trend to change before we enter again see that is this an uptrend again okay up and down higher low lower a uh, higher low and higher high okay this area is where we can look for our opportunity because it's forming a higher low in this area over here let's try to find the opportunity using stochastic itself once we found the trend next stochastic did it go to oversold no not below 20 percent but is there a lot of crossover is this an uptrend you may ask yourself when there's a crossover you may try to enter depending on your risk allocations and appetites okay now that you have found your opportunity you buy at the dip you buy at the stochastic crossover and then you wait for the miracle i'm just kidding Okay, if the price went up that's where you go in my apologies when the stochastic crossover and it's a right trend at the dip you buy okay that's your entry signal and let's see how much has the price moved okay now we found a crossover and also over so it dip into the oversold but this will be a provide a stronger oversold area in an uptrend it has been traded in a side way but it was an uptrend okay it was an uptrend traded in the side way you have an oversold and then you enter do you see how has this stochastic helped you in trading this counter there are a lot of opportunity for you to get into a good stocks once you have found the right uptrend stock that you have used stochastics to help you to improve your trading
and your winning opportunity. Okay, there's an oversold area, oversold, but the stock has been trading in a sideways at the moment. Next, we will try to spot a bearish divergence. Bearish divergence happens when uh, the price has gone up and then there is a lower high and lower low forming in the indicator itself. You can see it from here. It's forming lower and lower twice. Okay, it went up, goes down. That's the divergence. But since this has been turning into an uptrend, so there is no bearish signals over here. Okay, what we are trying to use with uh, use this divergence is to spot a change of trend or a shorting opportunity. So we have come to an end to these sessions on the stochastics. Let us summarize on what we have learned so that you can refresh on this. The first one will be on stochastic crossover where the blue line crossing the red line. Do remember to check on your setting. If you want to just look at the important turning points, put 14 days. If you want to have a sensitive indicator, put it 5 which we use in uh, when we try to spot the divergence and the convergence using stochastics. Okay, the second one, overbought and oversold area, 80% area and the 20% area. And the third one will be the last one, which is the convergence and divergence. Price goes down, indicator shows going up, and then price goes up, indicator shows downwards. It diverge, converge and divergence, which is possible change of trend. And I hope you can combine trend and stochastics in your trading. That will be all for today. Thank you for watching.